Hi, writers. Welcome back to writing. Um, today, we're going to write our second opinion piece. Um, we started last week. We wrote down the reasons um, uh, or the what we think is the best activity to do at recess. So I want you to get out your owl books, opinion writing books. And last week, we wrote down what we should do at recess. We thought of lots of our things you can do at recess, but I picked playing soccer. And last week I wrote my three reasons why I think playing soccer is a great recess activity. And remember I wrote that soccer is great exercise. I wrote that you can play with a group of friends and that's always fun to play with friends. And that you can play on teams against each other. And I like to be competitive, so it's fun for me to play on teams against each other. So those were three reasons why I think you should play soccer at recess. Today, we're going to turn these reasons and our uh, opening sentence into a story. So I want you to flip over. Today, you're going to turn your page and you're going to write your during recess story. But let's go back because these are the things you're going to do. Your Oreo. You're going to start by stating your opinion. Then you're going to tell me your reasons in sentences, and you're going to include some examples to go with those reasons. And then in closing, you're going to state your opinion again. Boys and girls, remember that this is right in your writing book. So you can look at that as a reference. So boys and girls, during recess, okay, I started my story by stating my opinion. I think everyone should play soccer at recess. That's my opening sentence. I think everyone should play soccer at recess. You're going to start your opening sentence with your, with your opinion statement. I think everyone should go on the swings at recess. I think everybody should go on the monkey bars at recess. And then you're going to tell me right your reasons why. So my first reason was it is great exercise. So I put, I started my opening sentence again. I think everyone should play soccer at recess. And then I went into my first reason. I went into my first reason. My first reason is I turned it into a sentence and said, if you play soccer, you will get a lot of exercise. You need to run a lot. Okay, so there was my reason. You get a lot of exercise. And an example is you get to run a lot. And that's exercising. My second reason was... You can play with a group of friends. So I made that sentence say, soccer is fun because you play with a group of friends. There's my ending sentence or my next sentence. Soccer is fun because you play with a group of friends. I put when you play soccer, you get to play on teams against each other. There's my third reason. One team will win. Okay, so there's my third reason. And then my ending sentence is restating your opinion. This is why I think playing soccer is fabulous. Okay. Let me read the whole thing to you again. During recess, I started with my opening sentence. I gave my three reasons why. And then I ended with my closing sentence. So I said, I think everyone should play soccer at recess. If you play soccer you will get a lot of exercise. You need to run a lot. Soccer is fun because you play with a group of friends. When you play soccer, you get to play on teams against each other. One team will win. This is why I think playing soccer is fabulous. And then boys and girls, I added a picture to go with my story. And there's three kids playing soccer, there's me. And you can see I got my legs and feet moving because I'm kicking the ball. And there's my friends. And then I did a soccer goal and I did some grass and I did a sunshine up here. So boys and girls, you're going to write your opinion piece and what you think you should do at recess today. Writers, when you're done, take a picture of your story and or read your story to your teacher. If you're remote, send it to them on Seesaw. If you're in school, the teachers will be there today to help you write your stories and um, get them ready to go. All right, writers. Go ahead and get started. Uh, good luck. Do a great job on your writing. Bye-bye.